you have been in an investigative reporter for many years, and now you have been a very famous writer for many years, using your journalistic skills for research and putting some of it into your novels. Right. Yeah. What if you should go back and do investigative journalism again today? What would you take with you from all your uh, skills and methods in doing uh, literature? I would probably try to do some kind of mixture between uh, what used to be called new journalism, that is to say a sort of literary way of telling the story, and the investigative methods. So what you would do in Denmark, for instance, is that you would have to try to describe uh, the hidden society of the Muslim minorities here in a literary way, uh, more extensively, and better written, uh, because the, uh, after all, this is the most important subject we have. Why is that so important? Because it deals with um, our democratic fundamentals. Um, we have created a number of so-called terrorist laws that make some of our inhabitants less valuable to the law, and that is uh, uh, that is undermining our democracy. This is the most important question. This is the most important question for the future, because all those immigrants are here forever. I mean, they're not going to go anywhere. They will be their ancestors will be here for in two hundred years' time, and we can't have this divided society then as we are creating today. So this is the number one general subject.